Proxies for the <laughs> system ever since they joined. So, thank you very, very much to, to, uh, to Leslie and Ken for inviting me to baptize their child, Natalie. So, we are baptizing Natalie. In general, when you say baptism, uh, what do you understand? They come into a church. That's really not complete. The first meaning of baptism is Christ is claiming the child for himself. God is claiming that child for himself. Natalie will be claimed by God as originally coming from God, not originally coming from human beings. Though she did. But baptism points to us, each and every one of us being baptized as more dignity than just really, merely being a human being. And what's the meaning of the church? The meaning of the church is simply this, that when we baptize Natalie, each and every one of us, even, even if we belong to different churches, meaning to say, churches has the duty to take care of the child in the best possible way that the child will grow up to be a child of God and acknowledging Christ as the Savior. As human beings, we always desire for something, a life that is happy, no problems, uh, really no headaches. It's a, it's a very interesting thing because even if we have not attained heaven, every human being, whether a human being believes it or not, has a kind of a shangri-la, has a kind of a never-never land. And that has been implanted in us by God to wish beyond what is the human experience. And so in this sense, we are going, every faith, every family, which is also a little church, will help Natalie grow, especially the, the parents, the family, and the grandparents. So we are taking care of the child of God. And another point, no human being goes in a vacuum, grows up in a vacuum. We always have some kind of a matrix. And as we grow up, according to that matrix in where we go, will influence our character and personality. A broken home with no love, with no touch, will bring up a broken child. A home that is loving and forgiving and kind and accepting will bring up a happy child. I don't mean to be perfect, but we're not all going to be perfect. But the thing is, for every one of us, we are called to give support to Natalie, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Okay, that's the only chance she has. Nobody grows up alone. And remember this, a lot of different persuasions in the world will try to get Natalie as she grows up. There will be the school, there will be the group, there will be her peers, there will be her gang, there will be her influence in a society, there will be television, there will be everything that will try to influence Natalie. But God so and His grace will help Natalie to form a right mind and a right conscience. And you don't have to be perfect. Because even if you are not perfect, you and I know what it means to love, to forgive, and to accept. Okay? the Son and of the Holy Spirit.
Karen, Leslie, what name do you give your child? What do you ask God's church for Natalie Ann? You have asked to have Natalie baptized. In doing so, you are accepting the responsibility of training her in the practice of the faith. It will be your duty to bring her up to keep God's commandments as Christ taught us by loving God and our neighbor. Do you clearly understand what you're undertaking? Are you ready to help um, sponsors? Are you ready to help godparents? Are you ready to help Natalie in the, Natalie's parents in their duty as Christian parents? Natalie, the Christian community welcomes you with great joy. In its name, I claim you for Christ and our Savior by the sign of his cross. I now will place the cross on your forehead and invite your parents and godparents to do the same. I'll put the cross on your forehead and you also do the same. Ask you, Father, with your Son to send the Holy Spirit upon the water of this form. May all who are buried. God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has freed Natalie from sin and given her a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and welcome you into the Holy to Take care. Drama queen? Do we have a little drama queen? Not too much, but it, when it, you're I saw her do a, her, she, like she did a face plant the other day. I was like, what was that? She w walks along and she just buries her head. She did, like she'll that. just literally drop and put her head to the ground. Oh, wow. Like if it's about her. Uh -huh. Like if she walks in a room and you're like, oh, Gloria. Say hi. Hi. Can you say hi? Is she doing anything? No, 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 no. Mayam. Her eyes lit up like... Good. Is it you by the police? Yeah. Do we know anything about this party yet? It says I'm thinking. Uh-huh. You can do, you can do better. So. You know how boys Sitting up, are. Kneeling up on that chair and Maya's on her, she goes, down? Because we always say down, Maya, when she stands on the chair, she'll say, yeah. down? <laughs> Tell her what to do, Maya. You're a bossy girl. <laughs> She's so bossy with our pet. She said, move. No. Move. Yeah. I mean, no way. <laughs> so, yeah, normally when I'm yeah, sitting, uh, is he here? He is buried. buried we could take a walk over to his grave. Is it right in the back there? Yep. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, I don't a really big plot that it is for fine by the Yeah. 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 So, our uncle oh. has been here over 50 years. What do you do, Maya? Learning all kinds of good stuff. Basically, they get visitors. They're exploring. Because they're not allowed to leave here unless it's a business. Come on out of the bathroom. So they, the family could come. Mom. Around. So he is the, was the youngest. There was 10 wow. kids. Right? Wow. Wow. So they put the family 